Hello, hello. Welcome to my very first video on Q&A Wedding Wednesday. My name is Shannon Del Palma. I own Shannon Del Palma Coaching, where I do business coaching and teach, create, implement digital marketing strategies for wedding professionals. I just basically help wedding pros become more visible online. Let's just put it that way. So our, my very first question comes from Corey, and he writes, do you feel like is it important to reach a certain number of followers or likes on different social media platforms? In other words, does a bride think that a Facebook page with 200 likes or an Instagram account with 100 followers is less trustworthy than one with 10 times that number? Or do you think the work content is all that matters regardless of the follower content? So Corey, none of that shit matters. Just like you said in the last statement, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they really just want to know are you trustworthy? Are you genuine? Are you being authentic with me? So when someone comes to you, we all know that kind of saying, unless you haven't heard of it yet, the saying is the know, like, and trust factor. So people want to know you, they want to like you, and they want to be able to trust you. They don't give a shit if you have 6,000 followers if all you're putting out is spammy, douchey content. We want to put out some good quality content, something that's authentic and genuine. Now, Corey said he would give me bonus points if I can include a case study. So I don't have an exact case study of a social media platform where I'm being authentic, but I have a real client conversation that I had where I just became totally authentic and just said, I'm just going to put all out there and see what happens. I was meeting with a client. She couldn't decide. So I'm a, I'm a previous wedding professional that sold my wedding business this year. Um, I was meeting with a client. And she couldn't decide whether what type of centerpiece she wanted for what. And she was really indecisive in this indecisive kind of place. So I said to her, hey, do you remember the centerpieces at your last wedding? <gasps> I know. I know. A wedding professional saying, hey, <laughs> my job sometimes doesn't really matter. Now, I know what you're thinking. Holy shit, Shannon, you're not supposed to say that to a client. We're supposed to make them feel as if our work is so important that they need to pay millions and millions and tens and tens of thousands of dollars for our services or whatever. But after I said that statement, my client felt so trustworthy with me that she gave me like the maximum amount of number that I was going for for the centerpieces and said, do whatever you want, which is the like iconic golden words that a client can give to you if she says do whatever you want I trust you which is basically what she was saying I was able to do whatever I wanted with the top number of dollars not with some low budget bald number because I made her trust and like me just by saying I'm your friend I'm not trying to dupe you think about even like what the last person did and right there I established a trust factor with her. So when you are in your business and you're trying to get new clients online, just be yourself, seriously. Be totally yourself, swear if you wanna swear, it's your fucking business so you can do whatever you want with it and just be completely authentic. Don't try to be someone else that you're not. I remember when I used to write my social media posts, I used to write them like I was an anchor, like a news anchor. And I was like, who the fuck is that? I don't type like this, I don't write like this. I'm not like this in, <laughs> I'm not like that in meetings. I'm like this, you know? So once they would see me, they loved the real me. So Corey, just be authentic as you can. No one gives a shit about the followers. Put out some real stuff that people can know, like, and trust. I'll be back next wedding, next wedding Wednesday with your next video, which talks about hashtags and Instagram. Can't wait. Bye.